So let's continue. Remember that we're working on this specific file. Now let's go to another page because we're going to apply animation and buttons in another page. Not this one. Let's go to this one. Page number seven and eight or six and seven, I'm not so sure. Let's see, let me confirm. It's going to be page six and seven. Okay. What are we going to do? We're going to continue with animation, but this time is going to be different. Take a look and get closer to this. It seems to be poop, okay? It is poop. And these are some flies. Now, if you want to apply some animation, for example, that you want all the flies to move along the poop, what can you do? First thing, you need to have a complete object. As you can see, it was made with circles, okay? Now, the second step will be to draw the line that you want, for example, to the fly, to fly. <laughs> How are you going to do it? I'm going to select the pencil tool and I'm going to make a drawing of a line. Maybe it's coming this way, okay? Now, the color that you see right here is because I select the um, fill color, but I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it to the stroke. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to open the animation panel the one that we have right here, we're going to select both objects, that means the line and the fly. And just when you selected both, you're going to find out that at the bottom, you have this option, convert to motion path. What is going to do? Click it, please. So you're going to find out that this fly is going to move all the way here. Let's find out if it works. Remember that we have this option. I'm going to click it, of course, you should too. And as you, I'm not so sure if you have the opportunity to take a look to it. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger so you can have the opportunity to take a look to it. So I'm going to play again. There you have it. Ha! Huh. So as you can see, you can define, for example, the track line that is going to follow each of these, those flies. So again, please draw a line for each of the flies I'm going to move this one. It's going to do a loop right here and it's going to come here all the way to the beginning. Again, line. I'm going to select both. I'm coming to animation. I'm going to select this option, okay? And I'm going to do the same to this other fly. This one is going to come along all the way here. It's going to make a loop and it's all the way here. I'm going to change it. I'm going to select both. I'm going to select the fly. Oops, sorry, I had to select just this one. This one is grouped, okay. This is the one I'm going to change. I'm going to group these two. Let me get closer. And this one, I'm going to group it. I'm going to place it closer to this. I'm going to select this two. And here it goes. Let's see what I have already defined. I'm going to do the EPUB interactive preview. And you can see that the flies are moving all around. Now, on timing, you can define, for example, what you want, for example, fly one, fly three, on page load, you can define, for example, if you want to delay, if you want to, for example, um, you want to change the position, you can define how you want it animation works. Okay, for example, it's going to be one second, but you don't want it to be like a static. Now, what else can you do? I'm going to select one of them. I'm going to select this one. Remember that this is already an animation. So here in animation, I can define the duration that it's going to have. I'm going to define, for example, loop. I'm going to select this other one. I want it to loop. And this one, loop. So it's going to be constantly. Let's see. There it goes. And it's always moving. And now the other one is moving too. How about if we can add a little bit of sound? Can we do it? Yes, we can. First of all, you need to have an MP3 file. 
I already placed it on the same folder. So what are we going to do? There are two ways of importing files. I'm going to show you like the most common way and then I'm going to show it through the, through the panel. The most common way, file, place, And the one that I have selected is this one. <laughs> when you select it, you're going to find out that you have this icon. Where can you place it? You can place it right here at the top, for example. Now, let's see what is going to happen. This is media, correct? So please, click where it says media. This is the sound. I'm going to play it. OK. So it's going to sound pretty nasty. <laughs> on page, um, play it on page load. If you select it, when they open this page, they're going to listen to that sound and they're going to figure out that they have some flies. If you want to stop it on page turn is when they go to the other page and play it in loop in case you want it. Now, poster frame, what does that mean? When you place it, you know, sound doesn't have an image, right? Because you have to listen to it, but if you want to help the viewer that you have a sound, well, this is what is going to appear to them and they're going to look to this icon. Or if you want to choose a specific image that you already made in another software like Illustrator or Photoshop, you can look for it if you select choose image and then just uh, select it and place it. So this is how you can apply, for example, a specific sound to, um, to an animation, okay? Now, what else are we going to do? Let's go to another page. Let's see if this one, eat. No, we're not going to eat. How about cycling? Let's go to the ones that we have at the top. I'm going to close this one. I'm going to transform this one and I'm going to add a video. So I'm going to select it, okay? I'm going to create a frame because I want the object to be inside this frame. Then I'm going to show you how to import media not using file place option. Let's go where it says media. At the bottom, you're going to find out that you have this option. So click it and then select file MP4. So MP3 is going to be for sound. MP4 is going to be for video. This video is a little bit small. As you can see, it's only 432 pixels. So maybe it's going to look a little bit blurred. So once you have it like this, you're going to have this icon again, and it's going to tell you, where do you want me to place it? So place it wherever you want to. Now, as you can see, the video is really big. Let me zoom out. If you want to make it smaller, remember that you can press Command Shift or Control Shift if you have a PC. And I'm going to adapt it and place it on the frame that I already have right here. I just place the frame to define the area. Remember that if you double click it, you can move the file inside the frame it already has, okay? So let's see, I'm going to make this one a little bit taller here and I'm going to move it from the top. Okay, and now I'm going to use the frames that I already have. Remember that you can define it, you can make it smaller it's like doing a mask. So we have a video. How can we know that this is a video? Let's go again to the panel media, select it, play. Super. So you can select play on page load or play in loop, but how about if you can give the user the opportunity to decide if they want to watch the video or not? So if we want to do that, let's give them a, a little help. Maybe, for example, we can draw a button. I'm going to make the ellipse. I'm going to place it right here. As you can see, this is going to be our play button. Okay, I'm going to place it here. And I'm going to convert it into a button. You already know how to do it. Just like, let's do a review about it. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to create it as a button. It's going to be named play button. Unclick when they click it. 
the action that is going to be selected is we can select one of them or the one that says epoof not the one that we have below okay so what do we want a video so what do we want options play the video stop pause resume play from navigation point so what do we want play and what else are we going to have let's see how it works in the preview spread okay so this is the file that we have it's telling me that it has a video and sound and if i click it it's going to work now i haven't added like the stop right so what do we have to do hey add a stop symbol or button so i'm going to make this one if I'm not wrong, the play is going to be like a triangle, right? But yeah, for this ex exercise, I use a circle. So this button is going to be the stop button. Stop. Unclick. Video is going to stop. Okay? Be sure to select the video that you want. If you are using more than one videos, it's all it's really good to remember the name that you are uh, in which you have saved the videos okay so this one is going to be stop by video cycling i have selected here stop let's see how it works so we have this the reader is going you know the user the reader the one that is opening this file is going to find out that hey something's going on here it's telling me that it has sounds and it has a video so if they click it here play stop so you can define for example a pause if you want to resume things like that so this is how you can add animation with buttons as you can see right here it's really easy and simple now one important thing remember that we just made like the flies around the poop the one that we have right here well maybe the sound is going to be annoying if you select noise how about if you give the opportunity to stop the animation or to stop the sound remember that you can do it when you select the button you can define for example let's do an example right here so it's going to be easier I'm going to do another circle I'm going to convert this into a button Boop. <laughs> uh, I want for example the animation what do I want? For example, for, anim uh, for the first fly, for the fly three is the one that is right here, and the other one is the, um, the group, remember? So if you want people, for example, to stop the animation, you can do it like just grabbing and drawing um, a button. But how about if you don't want the animation? You want, for example, the sound, the, the one that has a relationship with flies, as you can see, you can add animation sound. You can add different functions or actions to this specific button. Right now, for example, I'm going to say the sound one, stop. OK, let's see again how it works. And the sound. Ah, yes, I'm sorry, the sound is going to be <laughs> available in case you use it in the, uh, in the reader. Yes, yes. <laughs> I was a little bit afraid, like, <gasps> it's not working. But it will, it will. So as you can see, combina um, combination about, uh, with animation, buttons, videos is really easy. But the most important thing is how you define the, um, the files at the beginning. For videos, MP4, audio, MP3. If you don't want people to see the audio icon right there, remember that you can say, hey, none. So it's going to be there, even though they don't know. And now, the most important thing, how are you going to export it? First of all, save it. Go to File, Save. Remember that you have to save all the actions and everything we just done. Then go to File export we're going to select the one that says epoof fixed layout okay 
Then we're going to select save. You're going to find out that you have um, this new window. We're going to select all pages, okay? The cover, if you don't have um, a specific cover, well, you're going to have none. Or you can put like the first page, like the cover of the document. I'm going to do that. From navigation, please select none because you want to, to use the same name that you use for the file. So it's really important, for example, if it's, it's called the book of imagination, well, book of imagination dot epoof. How you save the file is going to be important, okay? And the spread is going to be based on document setup. This is important too. Once you have it like this, select and click OK. EPUB is going to be open in a specific apps. For example, if you have a Kindle, if you have Apple Books, and here it says pages with different size may not appear correctly. The page size should be the same as mentioned in document setup. In case you don't have the same pages, this, I, um, this warning is going to appear, OK? So I'm going to have this one. Remember the cover that I decided like, oh, the first page is going to be the cover. And for example, I can move to the poop area. This is important to find out, for example, how you um, place the number to each of the documents. If you're not aware, page number two, uh, this document is started in page number two. That's why they seem like a little bit um, moved. Let's go back. Here I have the poop. There you have the noise. <laughs> if you want them to stop, just like that. I'm not so sure if I place the stop. I, I don't remember. But let's go to another animation. We have this one. It's going to tell me that it's a video. Depending on how you place the video, is that this icon is going to appear. This is just to help the, the viewer so they know that this is a video and they can play it. or make them stop. So be aware how you frame the video. If you want to keep the complete video, I, that's my suggestion, instead of using a frame, it's going to look better. Now, it looks a little bit blurred because as I mentioned at the beginning, the video is really small. It's 432 pixels, so it's really small. If you want to use it for an EPUF, try to find out one that has like the size in 1200 pixels, okay? So this is all we have done for an EPUF. As you can see, it's really easy. There are a lot of options, of course, of animation that you can do. And try to click them all, and you're going to find out that it's really easy and fun. I hope you enjoy it, and we have one more week and two more videos. Have fun. See you later.